अन अकेडमी लेट्स क्रैक इट गुड आफ्टरनून कोमल एंड अदिति आई यू देर Hey, hey, Aditi. Okay, I'm filling a form, guys. In case you are interested to know more about the GMAT on an academy, you can just fill this form, and you'll get a call back regarding GMAT. So just check the uh, pin. I have uh, attached it to the chat box. okay everyone once again good afternoon welcome to the session this is uh, how to score more for reading comprehension so how many of you are interested in the gmat can i see some hands please i mean are you just window shopping or you are actually interested in the gmat so that's komal raising a hand right who else the serious people who are interested uresh good to see you uresh are you planning to take the gmat sometime soon romik you are interested okay what do you know about the gmat romik and uresh komal hmm gmat ka full form bhi pata hai and what kind of an exam is that is it for medical for engineering for uh, law what is it for hi shreya i'm sure you know all that management okay komal why do you want to take the gmat why not uh, cat n mat shanvi hi i remember shanvi yesterday you had mentioned that you would be taking the gmat soon Okay, foreign countries. Yes, Komal. But GMAT is accepted in India also, Komal, in some very good institutes. Are you aware of that? See, GMAT is a test, right? And it depends on which universities accept that test. Yes, Josh. So earlier it wasn't very much accepted in India, but then now there are quite a few colleges. ISBS being the top of the list. बिल्कुल लेता स्वर्ण हुआ और भी हैं कई सारे कॉलेजेस जैसे चेन्नई में ग्रेट लेक्स है दैट्स अनदर गुड कॉलेज एंड दैट आल्सो एक्सेप्ट्स जी मैट बहुत हैं ऐसे कॉलेजेस यस कोमल सो वी ऑल आर लाइक फैमिलियर विद सम नेम्स सम कॉमन नेम्स इन केस यू वांट मोर नेम्स यू कैन जस्ट गूगल दैट्स अ वेरी इजीली अवेलेबल फैक्ट हाय वीना गुड टू सी यू ओके सो वी जस्ट टॉक्ड अबाउट व्हाट जी मैट इज नाउ वी आर गोइंग टू ट्राई टू अंडरस्टैंड द सेक्शंस इन जी मैट and when we come down to varc not varc isko verbal kehte hain gmat ka so what exactly are the components and usme rc mein kaise wo karenge so we are going to funnel funnel it down okay all of you the form link is pinned to the chat box please fill that and you'll get a call back then you can kind of further get clarities about like whatever you want to know theek hai uresh you're preparing for cat okay gmat will not require no it will require extra effort because cat and gmat are a little different not kind of you know uh, being very specific about rc or cr but yes overall there are some differences ha huh, exactly even if you have to fill the exam form it costs you about 14 15000 something so it's a big chunk countries so yes tanish quite a few so guys please take the form that i have pinned to the chat box and if you want more clarity regarding this category that we are starting shortly on an academy you can just fill the form you'll get a call back ab 21 ho gaya hai okay lavish main 15000 pe atki hui hu so shanvi the registration form costs you 21000 dollars mein thoda zyada hi hota hai yes sandeepan Oh ho, yes, Shanvi. So that's why I say, Shanvi, if you are planning to take the GMAT, you had better be very clear about it and kind of determined. 
like two days back i got a call from a student who wants to start his gmat preparation but then the thing is he hails from a state board his english is very weak and he wants to appear for gmat in july so do you realize the folly of chasing such goals i mean we are already in may and if he wants to appear for gmat in july bhai aap bharoge fees itna bada amount dal kar ke you are going to fill in the form and then without any preparation you are going to take the gmat so it doesn't make sense so i just counseled him and i told him that you need to give it at least 8 to 9 months you know considering that your level is quite weak uska qa maths mein reasoning mein sab mein uska level weak tha got it guys hmm yuresh for those of you who are appearing for cat definitely you can go for gmat but keep that target for after cat like you'll be appearing for cat in november then you'll be done with your uh, omets by feb and then you should keep gmat for march or april so that's like playing it safe 21000 bhar ke aap jab usko form bhar form bharoge like you know you'll be applying for it so you had better be prepared complex in teeno mein agar dekha jaye na lavish let me take the pen now and i'll show you some differences guys all of you so we are discussing some things about reading comprehension on gmat theek hai but before i come over to reading comprehension let me just give you a few pointers a few differences abhi jaise aapne pucha na complex gmat cat or zat so i'll write down all the three here cat zat gmat it is definitely not true that gmat is the most difficult one no if i talk about difficulty level in terms of verbal this is the one which is most difficult then you have cat and gmat almost at the same level and differences in bas dono mein like the reading material for cat is different from that of gmat then you know the types of questions that you get in cat more or less similar but then gmat ke kuch specific hote hain like which you get only in gmat and not on cat or zat ठीक है, so types of questions, then reading uh, fields, okay, this is number one, this is number two, then of course GMAT में you have got extensive critical reasoning in CAT you get critical reasoning as part of RC, then in GMAT you have got sentence correction, I don't like to call it grammar because it's not prescriptivist grammar. sentence correction what gmat gives you is totally based on idiomatic usage of sentences like sentence structure is what what actually matters over there so if you are a good reader you would be automatically able to spot the problems over there in the sentences plus of course concepts are there so we'll be doing all these concepts grammar se related jo bhi isme chahiye hota so you know like um, those of you who have been doing cat preparation with me would know 150 uh, super 150 for grammar do you remember right shanvi this is enough for cat and omets but this is not enough for gmat but yes if you do this it's a compilation which will help you lay the foundation okay so you will be aware of the basic concepts like adjectives kya hai adverbs kya hai nouns kya hai pronouns kya hai but when we talk about sentence correction in gmat rohit there are some specific topics that gmat is totally big on so what are those topics like you know main is ka hai modifiers we have parallelism hi shivam we have parallelism we have modifiers then we have sva subject verb agreement okay so these two three topics are like really and truly important in sentence correction of gmat kyun kyunki ye teen se na aapka sentence structure banta hai that is determined and as i said sentence correction of gmat is not prescriptivist it focuses more on usage all right so these are like some differences between these exams that of course is like very dense Shanvi, you said you're going to focus on that. So even after doing CAT, you can't say that you are like all geared up for that, because in that the passages are of a different kind. 
in GMAT, the passages are again of a different kind. So reading for all the three exams has to be a little exam specific. You understood, guys, what I'm saying? But yes, when we talk about level, this is the most difficult one. I'm talking in terms of verbal. And then these two are there. GMAT, ka to like, if you practice questions, you'll see that more or less, you know, you're doing, uh, you'll get reminded of CAT. Because when I teach CAT, I pick material from various sources. And one of my favorite go-to sources is GMAT official material. Okay. So I build up familiarity with these passages for all my students. And then if you want to go to GMAT, ki taraf jana hai, so you can do it. Okay. Now I'll take you over to the next thing. Okay. Just hang in there. Uske baad na, uh, you can ask me your doubts. Fine. Just a few points. Okay. Now, Shanvi, Tanish, Rishav, Shivam, and all the others. See, if you are talking about GMAT, there are three sections. Oh, where's my red? Yep. Yeah. Hmm. There are three sections in GMAT verbal. We have RC, we have CR, that's critical reasoning, and we have sentence correction. Only these three topics are there. Unlike your cat, where you have got para jumbles and para completion and odd one out, and um, there are like, you know, what else is there? Critical reasoning is part of RC, of course. Okay, so you have those things, and uh, in this, only three are there. Short summary is also there on cat, yes. So here you've got these three, Shani. Now, when we talk about these three, Across all three, you have to understand these points. Okay. Like I have gone through various points, multitudes, and I have come up with these four, which I feel will help you. Nipo, good afternoon. Abhay, good afternoon. You have to always do an analysis. Like more important than in CAT, it's over here. You have to always do an analysis, Shanvi. Why is your answer wrong? If needed, make notes on these things. Such a question, I thought, you know, you can make two columns, okay, like this. You can put here question, make a box, put the question here. You can put here my thought. You can put the next column, the next point over here uh, should be, or I should think this way. Got it? So then if you keep building this repository, you will be able to uh, revise quickly and understand. Understood, Nipu? Shanvi? Okay. So analysis, this is extremely important. I'm talking purely in terms of GMAT. Maintain a log, key learning from every question. I have connected this with this, and I have given you this. So this is how you should maintain a log. It's not so important in CAT, but over here it is critical. Okay. Increase daily reading, analysis, and critique. The reading stuff for GMAT is completely different from that of CAT. So I'll take another slide and show you here. When I teach CAT, I tell you, you have to read diverse stuff. Okay, eclectic reading is what matters. So I ask you to read this genre, that genre, ye, wo, sociology, philosophy, history, biology, linguistics, and whatnot. Like, you know, we can come up with 10 to 12 genres. And I say you have to read everything. In GMAT, it compresses a bit. They are more focused on history, okay, philosophy, sociology, okay, and that's it. Ye teen connected right there. So they can give you philosophical history. They can give you historical sociology. They can give you sociological history, anything of that sort. Mostly you will see connected with the US. American migration, American economy, uh, the plague, how it, hit the, how it hit the world economy. You know, like mostly they go to the pages of history and they pick either philosophy or sociology and connect it with history. So the passages are pretty dense. So you are supposed to read mostly analysis and critique. What is critique? Critique is when something is written, an essay is written, you come up with a feedback thing. 
Okay, so critic is different from critique. If I write something against an essay, I am the critic, C-R-I-T-I-C. -I Whatever I write, the analysis, that is called critique. And critique need not always be negative. Okay, so analysis and critique. Now, how will you read this stuff? How will you come up with that? The best way is to read, like, you know, thousands of GMAT passages. I have hardly said this to you in CAT. In CAT, I give you like a list of reading topics. And I say, the more you read from these sources, the better you're going to be at your passages. Right, Shivam? But in GMAT, my piece of advice is different. I say, instead of looking here and there for reading stuff, Shivam, if I have to pull up my socks in GMAT RC, I'm going to pick 300 to 400 RC passages. And I'm simply going to read them, Shanti not do the questions. I'm not going to look at anything else here and then. Just read. Keep making my repository of concepts. Keep picking concepts. These, is, these days I'm teaching you how to pick concepts in my editorials. Like this morning also we did it. So I taught you this philosophy. Ka ye wala hai, no? like, um, what did we do this morning? We did something like provisional and we did something like uh, um, some bias we were doing, right? Confirmation bias and all. Yes, yes, Urja. So, and we did skepticism. So remember, I keep telling you that keep building a repository. Note down the concepts. Same thing you have to do here. Komal, Sushmita, yes. I'm glad to see that you guys had attended. Okay. So you, you don't pick concepts from newspapers or editorials or opinion. You can read all that. Okay. Editorials and opinion and everything. You can read Eon essays and Atlantic and JSTOR and uh, Smithsonian, you can read all that, but more focused will be reading these passages and building your repository of concepts. Okay, and I say at least 300 to 400. Got it? So this is what I mean by increased daily reading, analysis, and critique. After reading 300 to 400 passages, your brain will be like totally at ease with that language. The moment you start reading after that, any passage, your brain will know what this is going to talk. Okay, then, Sushmita, the last point over here is 300 questions per topic. What do I mean by this? Reading comprehension, at least 300 passages. CR, at least 300 questions. SC, at least 300 questions. I have never said this in CAT. In CAT, on the contrary, I say for RC, even if you're not practicing on your own, you can just come and sit in the class and attend my editorials and do your daily reading and get familiarized with the techniques in just one or two months with me. You will be good to go. You can crack cat RCs. Why? Because they're diverse stuff. Okay. In this, you need to do, you need to sit and do specific practice with those passages. Okay. So, this is like RC ka 300. Abhi bataungi ki kaha se practice karna best track man. So ye, critical reasoning. Paragraphs, individual paragraphs with claim. Okay. So then whenever you're reading other stuff, like if you read opinion or if you read editorials, and if you come across a claim, your brain will be activated. You will think, ha, yaha pe critical reasoning ka question set ho hai. So critical reasoning, if you're doing critical reasoning uh, practice with me for CAT, you will have some kind of familiarity with this. But yes, you have to practice extensively for this. Without practice, GMAT ka ye teen top ka karna hai. You won't be able to take your score beyond 600. Okay, in CAT, I have never said this. 300 nikalo, 400 questions karo. Even in PJ and short summary, Shanvi, if you remember, I have said that don't go beyond 150 at the most, you know, you have to do 150. Uske baad, I say your graph will flatten. It will not, it will stop going up. It will flatten like this. But in GMAT, I'm telling you, the more you practice, the more your graph goes up. Okay, so it's all about extensive practice. So I talked about these pointers with reference to all these three topics, RC, CR, and SC. Sentence correction, mein. sentence correction, as I said, there are, you, you have to understand grammar. Okay, you can do 150 super grammar, whatever I have given that course, okay, for foundation. 
that is not enough you have to continue doing specific topics that i'll be pointing out as i said like you know three of them i remembered parallelism uh, modifiers and sva ah gmat also loves prepositions so there are like you know gmat specific topics i'll be teaching them in detail moreover you have to actually solve sc method guys you can increase this not 300 keep it 500 SC may, it's all about sentence usage, sentence structure. So the more you read, the more you use, the more you kind of practice with these questions, the better it's going to be for you. Okay, now here, next one. Key points for RC. Let's funnel it down to one topic, the one that's on the title today, RC. Okay, so in RC, what do you do? Like GMAT, how many questions do you get roughly? 34 to 36. Okay. And division rata yet pino topics come. So now look here, read relevant stuff. Okay. What do you mean by read relevant stuff? Simply what I explained just now that you have to uh, go with analysis type, critique type. So you know, instead of wasting time hunting for material here and there, my take on this is just read GMAT passages without solving them back got it and keep building your repository i'll read right here and repository fine then practice extensively i have already explained this to me increase familiarity with question stems this is extremely important i'll tell you the meaning question stems kya hota hai? after reading the passage let's say there are eight questions associated with the passage the first one is what is the primary purpose second one is what is the main idea third one is all of the following would undermine the author's claim except got it so isko bolte question stem and in gmat if you start taking notes just a cat mein maine aapko question types karwaya hai aage bhi karwaungi main to question types agar cat mein hum nikalte hai na to there are like what 12 to 13 question types okay in GMAT, what I suggest is you, when you start solving, keep making a list of the question types. So like, you know, if I have to make a list, I know that the one that would top the charts would be uh, not main idea, primary purpose. This is GMAT's favorite. CAT may main idea hota zyada. GMAT may primary purpose. But guys, in order to take out the primary purpose in any GMAT passage, you cannot do so without taking out the main idea. I have already taught you this. Main idea is connected with this, right? So GMAT ka favorite question stem hai PP. Then GMAT asks you a lot of tones. CAT gives you maybe, you know, one tone across all the three sittings. Okay. GMAT asks you titles. Okay. GMAT asks you a lot of critical reasoning in its passages. Okay. Then GMAT asks you inferences. Okay. True false thoda kam hota hai. Cat may true false aapka hota hai mainly. Okay. But when I say make a list of question types, I don't mean this. In GMAT, I don't mean this. In CAT, for definitely, it's easy. Bara se pera types nikal aate hain and muskan and mahek. I'll tell you what exactly I mean in this. When you are taking, when you're making a list, even for primary purpose, there will be different language used. Okay, pooch bhi raha hai primary purpose, but he'll be asking it in different ways. So primary purpose or main idea ka jitna ways hai, jitna language hai. So what I would do on my sheet. Yeah, in my diary, I would put here question types. Then I would say number one, primary purpose. I would leave a sheet blank for this, move on to the next one. I would put here critical reasoning, sheet blank, next one, and so on and so forth. Then critical reasoning may, whatever critical reasoning questions I come across, even if the number goes on to 100 or 150, doesn't matter. I'm going to do that hard work because I'm going to put 21,000 rupees in GMAT ke form. Mein. Got it, Shanvi? So you had better go out on a limb to do these things. 
सो आई होप यूर गेटिंग माई पॉइंट प्राइमरी पर्पज जितने भी हजार वे में वो पूछ सकता है राइट दम डाउन क्रिटिकल रीजनिंग जितने हजार क्वेश्चन उसके निकलेंगे कीप मेकिंग अस्ट ये भी क्रिटिकल रीजनिंग था ये भी था ये भी था ये भी था You got my point, guys. When I come to my tones page, okay, I would make a list of the tones that GMAT passages carry. Even if that number runs into five hundred or six hundred, I don't care. I'm going to come up with all those tones across three hundred to four hundred passages. This is the hard work that is needed in GMAT if you really want to crack it. So hard work, bolle to aisa nahi ki ha bat karke you know irrelevant kuch bhi kar rahe. it is focused got it guys so far so good so this is what i mean with increase familiarity with question stems clear the heck then poe poe is exceptionally important in cat as well as in gmat gmat mein to na it doesn't work without poe cat mein to ek aad bar phir bhi you can think of it but gmat swears by elimination be it critical reasoning or rc okay sentence correction mein bhi hota hai fine so you already know what process of elimination is main idea primary purpose you have to become very 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 good at these two things because gmat ka most favorite question is primary purpose okay got it and when i'm talking about this thing i i showed you this so when i'm writing down primary purpose ka question types and all you know jis tarah ka language hoga na options mein to expound to explain okay to enunciate ye likhungi main shaam bhi dekh rahi hu chahe wo 150 aaye i'm going to work on that then what will happen shaamvi and mahak and shivam and tanish and abhay the moment i come across a question in gmat jisme aisa language hai oh i'll be very familiar mujhe pata hai acha इसमें से ना एक्सपाउंड का मीनिंग ये है एनालाइज का मीनिंग ये है इनसिएट का मीनिंग ये है इट विल बी इजी फॉर यू गॉर इट कोमल सो ये टिप्स हैं व्हिच विल रियली हेल्प यू गेट स्टार्टेड एट लीस्ट पैराग्राफ समरी एंड क्रक्स इन जी मैट देयर इज अ वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट थिंग दैट इज सॉरी फ्लो आई हैव ऑलरेडी टॉट यू दिस इन कैट सी टी एफ वी हैव टाइम क्रक्स स्टोन एंड फ्लो राइट flow is what the connection between the paragraphs in jimat shivam they give you one question very often they say the last paragraph uh, why has the author written the last paragraph okay or why has the author written the third paragraph so this is a flow question you have to connect it with the re remaining parts okay the third paragraph is brought as an example to the to the concept that he explained in the second one or the third paragraph has been brought in as criticism to the concept that he brought in in the first paragraph dekh rahe ho phir ye flow wale mein gmat ka ek question hota hai if the author were to continue with the passage what would he write in his next paragraph so yahan khatam ho gaya passage uske baad agar likhta to kya aata this is again flow so yahan dekha maine concept hai यहाँ क्रिटिसिज्म है यहाँ एडवांटेज डिसएडवांटेज यहाँ सम साइंटिस्ट का थियरीज एंड देन उसके हिसाब से यहाँ क्या आएगा नाउ इफ दिस पैराग्राफ अगेन टॉक्स अबाउट क्रिटिसिज्म इट शुड नॉट कम क्यों क्योंकि हमने देखा फ्लो तो बहुत नीट है ऐसे ऐसे प्रोग्रेस किया है यू गेटिंग द पॉइंट सो दिस पैराग्राफ समरी एंड क्रक्स इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट इन जी मैट बिकॉज दैट हेल्प्स यू कनेक्ट बिटवीन द पैराग्राफ्स दैट हेल्प यू बिल्ड अ फ्लो clear everyone so this is all that you need to know about like you know the broad pointers the macro when we go into macro there are like tons of things that you need to understand but abhi ke liye for rc get these clear all right komal and the last slide that i have for today is this as i said in gmat extensive practice is needed with the official material don't go around hunting for material on mocks or on you know different institutes uh, websites don't ever do that for gmat it's not recommended for cat i can suggest okay aap ims ka le lo cl ka le lo aap na bahut sare websites hain um something bodhi prep and two uh, im kahi se bhi le lo aap material wohi hota hai you know usi type ke passages hote hain you can do it chalega so long it is authentic and so long the answers are right once i take a look at those questions i'm like convinced okay the questions are fine 
we can do those for gmat never ever just go to official websites go to official material there's like tons of material available for gmat so pick those questions you build up familiarity understood everyone now you can ask whatever you want that was my two cents on it yes Mac. anything that is running on your mind guys all of you if you want to raise hand no but i think since you're not subscribers already you cannot raise hand maybe you can pin komal mahak tanish shivam to to fill the form yes dudes any doubts at the end end of the session you are plus member for cat tanish right now you are sitting in another category so for gmat you're not a plus member yeah so you cannot raise hand So we are going to start this category very soon. Right now, we are just trying to understand the market. We are trying to understand what students actually require when they look for a GMAT course. OK, so once we are clear with that, we will be launching our category. That's that's going to happen very soon, OK, probably in two weeks or so. And first, we are going to offer you some recordings so you can see how compact the course is. And after that, if you want, we can go on with the live courses. You have doubt in a passage? OK, pen it, Mahak. I'll take it up. Anything else from anyone? If the course launches, how long will it take to cover? Mm, for verbal, I can tell you easily, like 50 hours should be enough. It can be anywhere between 35 to 50 hours. And then the rest depends totally on practice. Unlike CAT, we can't have it for like one year or so. Because cat, we have multiple topics. And then most of the practice I give in the class, right? For GMAT, we are going to keep a short course. More so because GMAT can be taken whenever you want. So let's say I start the course today. Okay. I can't claim that it's going to go on for the next six months because GMAT ka koi time ni hai na. Unlike cat, cat may 28th November ko, 29th November ko, aisa hoga. Right? So we all move together in the same direction. But GMAT ke liye sabka apna apna timeline alag hai. So we will come up with comprehensive courses. Yeah? We will come up with batches, Komal. Like maybe in a year, we will come up with three batches. Okay? Two months wala, is tarah se karke, ya three months wala, batches, short batches. That makes sense. Okay, Mahak, you have pinned your doubt? All right. But Komal, for GMAT, you have to get absolute clarity. And uh, you have to be determined. Karna hai to phir karna hai. And give it some proper time. Okay. Mehek ka ye sa passage hai? Mehek, what is your doubt in this? 398 and 399. Okay. Okay. Uh, authoritarian governments score enhancer the major causes of economic crisis in the uh, autocratic nations have been okay so inferred from the passage all right autocratic nations okay you're doing it from ims 99 okay tk Okay, can be bulletin. We are looking for true. In 398, what was your answer? So that we can uh, come down to the main points. 
day-to-day -day activities function out. Okay, yours was three. Now wait. Ye wala maine ek eliminate kiya hai. Russia and China have been suppressing dissent for decades while pushing the economic growth and social reforms. Rakhte hain isko. We may see a gradual shift in the ideological position of this from being liberal democratic to a more interventionist. You said this is uh, wrong. You got this. Continuing support of the masses is essential for any government to survive in the long term. Support of the masses, any government. I would like to eliminate this. Authoritarian governments in Russia and China were formed with the popular support of the people. So I'll go and verify this. I'm trying to make my work easy. Okay, Ms. Khan, as you can see. So I'll verify this. Authoritarian governments in Russia and China were formed with the popular support. Okay. Russia and China have been suppressing. Achha. So dono mein ab dekho difference dekho muskan. Dono mein Russia China ki baat aayi. Hmm. Okay. So I'll go over to the passage now. How? I can't read it. Muski. Unfortunately. Hmm. About ye dono ko verify kar lena muskan between one and four. Authoritarian governments in Russia. Okay. You're pinning another one? Ye hona chahiye. Vase this ka answer. Popular support of the people. Number one. I mean, we need to read and verify. But I'm just saying because democracies die this way. Popular support of the people hota hai and then authoritarian banjate hai wo dictators. So, should be this. Social reform to yellow kabi kiye nahi honge. So, this is out. Okay, my heck. 398, you said. No, okay. Let me check this now. Russia, China, China, okay, 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 all right. In Russia, kept population assuring economic safety and prosperity. Many, okay, okay, okay. Mm hmm Okay. They are kaimus kanya parto. Sorry, Mehek. It's given in clear terms. I'll show you. First you confirm. Is ka answer one hai four hona ni chai while pushing for economic growth and social reform. Kiya ni un logo ne bhala kabi bi. So is the answer one for this? Two hai answer. Okay, let me verify now. Continuing support of the masses is essential for any government to survive in the long term. So we need to verify this word, any, you know? survive in the long term. Okay. But this one is also given. I'll show you. Kaha kaha hai. Thik hai? Word yahan pe trap jo ho sakta, it can be popular. Okay. Continuing support is essential for any government to survive in the long term. Let's go and read the passage now. Is this the first page? Or be hai iska? Haan mein hai. Ek aur pen hai. Okay. Today's autocrats at least try to create the facade of democracy. Okay, democratic movements. Okay, okay, all right. So end kidhar hai? Okay, here. Divide and conquer though won't work forever. In China, rural and urban protests might soon begin to link up. Okay, charter. Okay, the Great Depression fed dangerous new autocratic ideologies, fascism, communism. Okay, Chinese. Okay. Mm -hmm. 
long term okay okay all right back to this one I don't agree with that answer, Muskan. And ये वाला जो material है ना IMS 99 वाला इसमें बहुत सारे answers गलत हैं. So I really don't agree with that because this number one can be easily inferred from the passage. In Russia were formed with the popular support of the people. This is what they did in Russia and China. They convinced the people that they would be helping them. And people thought that if they don't elect them, then this will be more dangerous our future. Hoga. So people went for this. Okay? So support of the people definitely thought that's how these uh, authoritarian governments came into place. Two wala, I don't agree with. Continuing support is essential for any government to survive in the long term. This word should be a trap. Explanation me dekna kya diya hai for option two. And Mehak, I would suggest you stop practicing from here. I had told everyone to practice from Aristotle 99. GMAT kahi ek uh, compilation hai. It's called Aristotle. I had posted it on the group also. So there are like 99 passages there. Yes. And 33, I think, for basic level. Then again, 30 for moderate level. And then high level, difficult level. So is me kya hai? Most of the passages I have uh, done with students and I have seen that the questions are more or less right. A card kahi pe stray question wrong ho sakta hai, answer wrong ho sakta, but otherwise it's a beautiful material and you all should refer to this. Isko immediately dump kar do. Okay? All right. Chalo guys, if we are done and if you don't have any more questions related to GMAT, we can wrap it up. Once again, a reminder, there's a form link pinned to the chat box. So if you want to get a call and uh, you want that, you know, some details, some more details should come your way. You can just uh, fill the form and submit. Okay. Bye-bye, guys. Take care.